What? Here we go are again. you out of your mind? Here we go Are again. you out of your mind? I was about you to don't throw even, a three. You don't even need to be sitting in the seat. I was about to throw a three. Why don't you but... trade out with David right now? This is not a one star image. You and... owe this photographer and this model an apology. What's up guys, welcome to another Critique the Community. Today we're going to be critiquing nighttime photography, but before we get into it, let's talk about the next critique. I'm actually really excited about the next critique, and sorry, Patrick, you're not gonna be a part of it. This, this is something that Mike and I have been oh, talking about. Oh, I wanted to be a part of this one. So, I had this theory, and Mike kind of agrees with me, that I am able to judge the quality of a photographer based off of their logo or their watermark. So for the next critique, what you do is you upload your favorite picture, it can be any genre, but make sure that you have your watermark on the image. Make sure that it's large enough that you know we can easily see it. And what David's going to do is he is going to crop in just on your logo first. We're going to rate your logo and then we will rate the actual image next. So your theory is that a low ranking logo will have a low ranking photo. That's as well. my theory, but I am proved wrong on a daily basis. So I have a question with all of this. If you have a four or five star image, which they don't really get submitted that often, but if, if they were, I would imagine those photographers are not putting a watermark over their photograph. Yeah. Most... So are you requiring people who don't put watermarks on their yes. four or five star images to do that in order to submit to this? Critique? Yes, I do not think putting watermarks on images is a really good practice in general, but basically what we're doing here is like a scientific experiment basing the quality of photographs versus the quality of that same photographer's mark or logo. So, so if it's papyrus, it's probably going to get a low ranking. Yes, yeah, exactly. So you better, if, if your logo is a font, you better pick a good font. It better be like Times New Roman or something. It's then just because you like it. <laughs> no, I don't Times know. New Roman, that's bad too. Yeah, that's horrible, that's a joke. Okay, let's get into this critique. This is the highest rated image uh, from the nighttime critique. You automatically win a tutorial on fstoppers.com slash store. Patrick, are you ready? Hey, yeah, time to look at this. Uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Four stars, we agree. I'm in between a four and a five on this. Really? I, I feel like I was closer to a three and a really? four. Really? I need to see it printed out. It's kind of hard to see, you know. I don't like the color balance on the right-hand side of the frame. It mm. looks like a rock quarry or something. And I feel like if they had the green tint or a blue tint throughout the whole thing, it might not pop from a distance as much, but I think I would personally like it a little bit more. I uh, I see what you're saying. I definitely don't mind the yellow look on the buildings and stuff, but the fact that all the rocks are are lit up, it's a it's a little bright. Whereas I feel like the your eye should be focused more on the homes rather than the rocks on the far right. Yeah, I feel like the houses could really pop off more if you had less color in the, the ground there. But great image. The community gives it 3.9 stars, so congratulations. Now, wait a minute. This is actually a new writer on F Stoppers, so I don't know if he just became new, <laughs> how that works. He's got the F Stoppers logo here, uh, so. so he gets tutorials for free anyway. So we also give away another tutorial. So why don't you, for the first time, mm -hmm. pick a number 2 through 20? 3. Three. So it'll be the next one. So it'll one. be really easy. And yeah. I think just so people know, if you watched the last critique, we've decided to stick with the 20 images. Yes, it was uh, overwhelming comments. People were like, wanted more than 20. Yeah, we're like, do not go to 10. So we're sticking with 20. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make you sit all the way through it. Are you ready? This is nighttime photography, is that the genre? Yes. Yep. Three, two, one. I two. give it two, you give it three. Yeah, I, I feel like um, th I saw this image small and I thought, ooh, that's definitely a four star image. But looking at it now, it definitely looks. They jumped to a two. Yeah. It needs looks... work. What needs work? In I just your don't, opinion? I just don't see this in anybody's professional photography portfolio. It just kind of feels like a, uh, a long exposure snapshot to me. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a high end professional image. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I can see how you would say that, but with a few tweaks, I could see this as a really awesome Oh, no, I marketing. certainly could. If she had a cell phone or something, or headphones, like, I could just see, it's very graphic to where you could make this a Samsung ad, or, there's so many I agree. options. Yeah, there's a, there's... It's not that, so it's kind of hard to be <laughs> like, if it was, but at the same time, I love the composition, 
I love the abstractness of whatever's going on up in the sky. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's a cool image. Like, I think this would be really successful on Instagram. Like, if this was in your Instagram yeah. portfolio. Yeah, like I said, small, it looks really good. But when you start blowing it up, it just, the, the, it's not polished, you know? It just kind of feels like a snapshot. Community gives it 3.24, so they like it more than me. All right, this is the next shot and the winner of another tutorial. Congratulations. I like picking the third image so we don't have to think about it and remember it later on. But now everyone can just detune from YouTube and tune out. That's all right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. Um, this is definitely getting closer to three to me. I love the, the colors and stuff in the, you know, salt bay that's being dropped down, but... Uh, Closer to a three. I feel like this needs <laughs> so much work. Like when I first well, saw this, I thought, oh, maybe this is something really abstract. And then when I registered what this is supposed to be, I feel like this needs a lot of work. Like the food doesn't look appealing. Yeah, the, doesn't the, look good. the crop, is there even a crop? Like a composition done to this? Okay. I feel like nothing besides maybe the fact that the guy was like, let me try something, is really working for this. Okay. And trying doesn't give you a three. So I'm, I'm just now noticing that this this kind of S shape. The grill. Like the, I didn't realize that was a grill. I thought that was somehow like a hand movement or something in no. a long exposure. So yes, now I'm, I'm liking it less. And then of course, the crop on the guy himself is like I would argue body. this is closer to a one, except for the fact that like it probably took a light and a camera that might like, you know, a camera that could freeze motion. <laughs> so that pushes it in the two category by definition. All right, I agree with you, you're right. The community gives it 2.29. Next up. Ready? That's a pretty cool location. I don't know where that is, but like, did they really make this whole arch <laughs> just for this lighthouse? I know. I guess there's a bridge going out to it. Three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three on this one. I agree the location is incredible. And maybe if you have a lot of landscape pictures in your portfolio, this is okay. But this just kind of feels cheap to me. I think to me it's the, the positioning of the camera. It just seems like... But it's the Eli lighting Eli too. Elia did a shot like this in Italy, I think in Photographing the World 2, where we worked on pulling the bridge in different orientations. And I feel like the camera is too close to the bridge to where he would call it foreshortening the bridge. Yes. Um, I just feel like there might not be another location to put the camera, but I would want to see this to where there's more leading lines and maybe the bridge is going a little bit more through There's the kind frame. of some strange dead space on the left side of the frame. What do you think's going on with the lighting, though? It doesn't make sense. Why doesn't it make sense? Like, you don't know what's to the left. Well, what doesn't make sense is, is the lighting in the sky. It's like blue hour. It's like the sun is set, and they did a long exposure. You th depending you on how much has been retouched. Who knows if the sky I mean, could this be lit by the moon? It could be. I, I feel like... It appears that it appears that there's like flat light coming from the left. But then when you look at the water and you look at the sky, the light's not coming from that direction at all. And that's why this feels just kind of fake and like thrown together to me. Yeah, but there's been some amazing landscape photos that when you really break down the lighting, it looks kind of fake. I know. But they do it in a way that's Yeah, really I agree. I, I have no problem with uh, compositing things. It's just this one in particular looks kind of fake to me. Community gives it 3.5 stars. All right. Ready? I'm ready. I just want to know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Three, two, one. Two stars. I mean, this seems like, you know, a fun camera test you did with your wife and kid or something, but like, this isn't a professional photo. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm just trying to think what I would do to make it better, or what I would think other photographers would do. All right, I can go, I can go through a few things. Uh, like you kind of have the monster lighting, but well, on the kid, I think it looks good. But maybe just that distance well, of the of the mom's face, it's now casting the shadows up. Like 
I've seen a lot of photographers do under lighting and it looks really good. And I don't know if it's because this is too harsh. And it's, it's the throwing... only light in the scene. That's the problem. So I, I think- You just had a little fill from above. Yeah, I think, I think this entire scene should have been lit first and then you should have added the fill light in the book as just like a little kicker light to accentuate the story coming from the book. But right now it just kind of looks like, hey, I'm just gonna throw a flash behind this book and uh, you know, the kids like looks crazy and zoning out and the mom looks like she's falling asleep and then the bed is like going into darkness. It needs to have those blue tones yeah, where it like feels like time. moonlight and stuff. Like something coming out of a window. Yeah, yeah. Or like a little lamp on the side. Yeah, so it's like a like this is the good first step for the, a concept. But well, like, and then the other thing I think that really pulls me out of it is like all of the star trails. It's just like a like a PNG file or like something. A stamp. Yeah, like it doesn't have any motion, and it it just looks like the layer doesn't blend very well with the underlying photograph. Agreed. Community gives it two point six six stars. Next up. Whoa! What planet is this? What is going on? Are these stars, or is this the uh, the burning steel wool? Like, could it even be that? Like, what is happening? It's the boomerang festival in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone throws a boomerang at the same time. Didn't you take a, a time lapse sort of like this in in like Utah? Maybe that hasn't been released, <laughs> but. I thought you uh, shot some tree like this with the stars. I mean, it didn't do this effect, but this just reminds me. I don't even remember. Southeast oh. or Southwest United States or something. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Two stars, you give it three stars? I give it three just because it's unique and interesting. I don't think this should be at the front of your portfolio. Like this is better than, maybe this isn't better than a two, but the two so far have needed so much work. Yes, I agree. I don't like that this really has no horizon, that the trees just cut off. This foreground isn't the really... The lighting on the tree looks kind of cheap too, right? Yeah, like it's it's flat. not great. I just, I feel like it's it's unique enough that maybe like somebody would see this and like it a ton on Instagram or want to hire you to do this effect or something like that. Yeah, I so agree. I'm more lenient in giving it a three, but I think this is like, it needs work for sure. Community says 3.22. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, two. two stars. I mean, this to me is getting very close to a snapshot, but like, you know, it's an interesting composition and interesting exposure. But, uh, you know, the dude's face is like not really in the frame. It's kind of so. like street photography, but it's just kind of a weird crop. I don't necessarily mind the crop. If I was getting a lot of emotion from the bagpiper's face, I think I might really like it. I just like don't it. like that it's cutting off his arm, it's cutting off all the bagpipe, and then like the top right corner just seemed like that's totally wasted space. Like, you almost don't even need the total tip of the flames, like, I don't know, like as an editorial shot, I just feel like there's this huge bar on the top and side right that just seemed like they could be cropped out. I see what you're saying. And drop but... a, and, and open the bottom of the frame just a little, just to give okay. like. I, I, I see what you're saying. And I would, you know, maybe I'd like to see that variant, but the crop on this doesn't bother me that much, as much as it bothers you. Can we agree that this picture, even if it got a three, like if this was, the little tweaks were a little bit better, mm -hmm. this would still only really belong in like a, a like a street photography, photojournalistic portfolio. Probably. Like is there any kind of commercial or editorial use for this? Not that like I know of. A news story or well, you know, newspaper running. Bagpipes are us stores opening up and they need a shot. 2.19 stars is what the community gives it. Bagpipes are us. <laughs> you been there? Not yet. All right, I think I can guess who took this. What drives me crazy about photography is there comes a point when somebody becomes so well known for a certain look and then the floodgates open and everybody starts doing it, you know? We yeah. could name a lot of photographers that we know as kind of, I us say they're the first, but they were the ones that popularized, popularized in effect. Yeah. And now everybody does it. And so I don't know if the person that I think took this took it. No, he didn't. All right, we snuck a peek at who took right. it. Yeah, so this is someone else. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Four. Whoa! Whoa! You are wow. wrong, sir. I feel like... You are wrong. 
I feel like her. You and, owe this photographer and this model an apology. I mean, do you sneak a peek at the rating? No, I, well, I didn't even. I didn't notice. This is closer to a three. And maybe... Of course this is a three. I just feel like it's got so much dead space. There's like the stars could be composited in there better. Like a photo like this, you're not going for some like, I got it all right in camera. This I, is a I, real moment. I don't if know. If you pulled it off all in camera, that's cool. That's great. But when you're going to go for these fantasy type of photographs, why not embellish the whole thing entirely? I love the simplicity of it. Really? I love the fact that you don't see a billion stars and there's boomerangs in the sky. I don't think they need all of that. It just feels like this should be zoomed in just a, a little or something. Like, there's so much dead space in this photo that I just feel I like... I like the dead space. I, I do it's not... It's art, so you can say whatever you want to say. <laughs> but I just imagine if this was printed on a wall, 90% of the image is black. Can you see it? It's not black. Okay, it's like... The darkest shades of blue. Yeah, it looks great. Both in the top and the bottom of the, the frame. Oh, yeah, it looks and great. And I know if you were to print this, that would be even closer to black. Oh, come on. That's a ridiculous no, argument. No, because the printers can't you'd, print you'd, that many shades of black. You'd bring it up You'd bring it up then to print correctly. So it needs a little bit of work. No, <laughs> no. It looks great to my eye right here looking directly at this. If you're looking at the side, the it's The core dark. element of this photograph is great. It's four. It might even be five. But I just... I. I'm not sold on the presentation. But the it's current. a three. You give it a three now. It could be a three. It is a three. I think least. for me, I think for me, it needs a little bit of work. And if that's a little more detail here and there, or if it is just a tighter crop, I'd I think like to apologize for my business partner. The community gives it three point three two stars. So they are closer to a three than a four. I'm not that offended if you give it a three. I'm very offended if you give it a two. You gave this the same rating as the. Kid reading the book picture. You gave this the same rating as the Bagpipes Are Us picture. It's the same reason we were talking with Pete, when we did Peter Hurley's, I feel like there's a five star rating, but within like the two category, it covers a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to like world class, I, you know, five star, that's like a sliver. Like there's very <laughs> little room. If you're in a five star, you're in a five star, you know? Yeah. So I feel like the scale is this like, pro, you know, palabra. Yeah, that's the word. Parabola? <laughs> I feel like the scale is, is it's like a parabola. It's, it, there's like areas that cover more variation, and because of that, this could be a high, high two. All right, so you're wrong and I'm right. All right, next up. I'm going to make you really angry right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll make all of them really angry. Three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three on this. I just feel like, to me, this isn't unbelievable, but the entire frame captures my attention enough that if I saw this printed, like we have in the studio, a vertical shot, and it's behind Plexi, and it was lit, and you had it somewhere, it would be like a, a solid three-star image, where the other image I just felt like was lacking a little bit of detail. Well, you're wrong about that, but... I think why this works is because of the shape of the tree and the way that the northern lights are looming perfectly. It's very if it was just strange. like the the aurora was going across the frame, I probably wouldn't like it as much. But because it's sitting the way that it is, it's like the tree's purple, on fire. It's yeah, very it's, interesting. Yeah. But the foreground, the foreground is what's well. One, the tree is kind of bumming me out. Like it's kind of a janky looking tree. But then the foreground and the grass, like that's looking pretty cheap too. But the fact that this has like, like you said, the aurora that's like. The flames on the edge of this tree, it's so unique. Like even where this this little edge of the right branch, it's like it goes up perfect to not have the aurora <laughs> right behind it. It's like really weird how it does that. I know. I don't quite understand how lucky or if this was done in post or what, but when I just look at this overall shot, and it I feels look at the like, it's like it feels uh, like this image isn't retouched so well. Like the concept isn't so great that they also retouch the aurora to fit this perfectly. Because if they were good enough to do that, I feel like this entire image would be on another level. So part of me thinks this is natural. The community gives it three stars. Ready? Um, I don't know why, but this reminds me of the setup that Monty Isom did for like his dance movie posters. Yeah. Three, two, one. 
Two stars. I love the concept for this, but it just looks blurry to me. It doesn't look like a... Yeah, I mean, she's not sharp or in focus at all. And I don't know what else to say. It's almost like <laughs> I agree. your friend jumped up there and did this and you had a, an iPhone and you produced like the best picture you probably could have with an iPhone and it was kind of a clever idea at the moment, but like it just doesn't seem like it's really executed like a, a professional photograph. Community agrees, 2.1 stars. Interesting. Three, two, one, four stars, we agree. You don't wanna give this one two? I mean, I can, should I give it a two right now? If you're stupid. <laughs> I'm not stupid, so I give it a four. I think it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting photograph. I agree. It's I, got like good leading lines. I looked at the horizon and like, I don't think that, I'm not a big stickler for like perfectly straight horizons. When, when they need to be straight, they need to be straight. Mm -hmm. But an image like this almost has this like fisheye kind of warped look anyway. Mm -hmm. Like you're on top of the world. Uh, maybe the curve would and go And then the I don't way. know what's going on down here in the bottom. If, the, if these are car headlight trails or if these are houses or fire. I don't know what it is, but like it's kind of pulling the whole thing together for me. You got the nice blues, but then you also have the nice reds down there in the bottom right. And so it's a very cohesive shot to me. Yeah, I like it. It's really cool. Community gives it 3.18. They don't like it as much as us. Ready? Three, two, one. What? Here we go Are again. you out of your mind? Here we go Are again. you out of your mind? I was about you to throw even, a three. You don't even need to be sitting in the seat. I was about to throw a three. Why don't you trade out with David right now? Because, like, the community will settle this. And the community is probably going to be, like, 3.1. And you're going to be like, it's closer to a four than it is a two. <laughs> but, like, I just look at this and I think, like, this is all about this building that isn't even that exciting. Like, if you're going to put a car ad and have the car parked like that with that composition, the building would be unbelievable. And I just feel like this is just some building that doesn't look that cool. It's got like a handicap ramp with glass coming down the side. There's a bunch of weird stuff on the left. The flag, it's just, you got the, you got the light post in the top of the frame. Like, this looks like it could be a really professional photograph, but to me, like, this does not hold up. If I... I don't shoot cars, I'll be honest. Like, if I put a car photo of mine in here, it would be a two. But I've still seen unbelievable car shots in our community. This isn't one of them. This Dude, is not one of you them. You are so. Out Why of do your you mind think that right this now. is like a. Like, what is four? Like, excellent. solid, excellent, excellent image. I think it. I, <laughs> this is so funny. When I rated this a four. I was going to say, I love the juxtaposition of this car and that building in the background. I love the building in the background. I love the color on the building. I love the shadows on the building. I love the light post and the light that's being cast. The I love first the thing I would do, clone that light post out of the frame. It does not belong there at all. Look at the front of the building. It actually looks kind of kind of cool right there in the entryway. You got a light post going there. Okay. I know it's there naturally, but if you're going to composite a shot and make an awesome picture, Get rid of that light post. Like that, that ad that makes it like one star cheaper instantly in my book. Especially uh, with the little flare up there. I, I I wouldn't be upset if you got rid of the light post, but it doesn't it doesn't ruin it for me. This thing that's on the left side over here that looks like, like a, a generator, it's like, like a like, toaster oven or something. Yeah. That should be cloned out in my opinion because my eye goes right to that and it's like why, why is, there a is the oven? light under the car blue and not warm? It doesn't have LEDs under there. They ain't creeping. Why is it a blue light under the car? I, I did not notice that until now. I don't know what's going on with that. There seems to be like a slight color shift right towards the bottom of the car on the asphalt that's not there. So yeah, maybe that needs to be fixed. My biggest critique of this image was going to, to be, I feel like the highlights on the car are a little hot and should be toned down just the slightest bit. But I think the car looks great. I think the lighting on the car looks great. The lighting on that building looks great. And uh, together, I think it looks awesome. The highlights in the car, to me, they, they look like they're too busy or something, especially this line on the door that kind of breaks uh, listen, the Listen, if, you, if you're trying to, you know, critique this in between a four-star and a five-star, and you're, you know, you're sitting here 
I agree. I agree. My critique of the highlights is the least of my worries in this photograph. <laughs> to me, I just feel like the location, that light post, the color under the car, it's got this sort of grungy feel to it. What about it. that? So I've just cropped it vertically. I think that makes it like, that probably makes it a three, like a solid three. That's it? It's not a four? How is it not a four? I mean, I just, I don't think it's a four. All right, let's see what the community says. 3.37. 3.3, so like 0 0.2 higher than I thought they would vote it, vote for it, but. Ready? I have a hard time rating this. I do too, but I do too. Three, two, one. I'm gonna give it four in, in terms of like a graphic, artistic, fine art type genre. Yeah. I think just this just works with shape and color and sure, stuff. Sure, sure. I mean, I love it. I think I gave it a three, but I feel like, I don't know where else you would go with it. Yeah. I don't know that you're gonna have clients knocking on your door. I don't know that a client would ever hire you to necessarily shoot. Maybe they would hire you to shoot this. I mean, it's like an art installation, but I just want to see something else going on and probably it's going to be a person or a product or, you know, something else in this shot, but um, it's really cool. It's well done. Community gives it right at three stars. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. I want to love this picture. I do too. I feel like whoever took this photo, like, either took a gamble and did something really interesting, or they planned it out and just didn't plan it out very well. But like, to me, this looks like a movie poster. It looks like it could be so interesting. And these lights or windows in the background, it's like pulling this whole thing together for me. I love that. It, it feels like this is some sort of uh, modern art painting or something. And I, you know, if I, if I just kinda look at this quickly, I'm like, that's incredible. And then I look at the girl's face in the middle and I go, oh, it's ruined. Yeah, and I don't know why, because there's a million things I could, I could put a super old woman in there and have it all teenagers and it would be like kind yeah. of funny. Yeah. You could put, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people you could put in there. I don't know why she doesn't work. I'm well, sure. it, her facial expression, it's not her it, It's as not a any person. one thing. Like she's kind of confused, a little disgusted but you could be really disgusted and it might work. It's like she's giving this in-between emotion. That yeah, it's like you just missed the shot by time or whatever and one second before or what 10 do you seconds think, later would be What do you great. think of the color grade on this? I think it's very interesting. And again, if it didn't have those lights or windows in the back, I, I probably wouldn't like this, but yeah. there's something going on with it all together. I did a color grade on this one, like this once, and people ripped it apart. Well, it was a bad decision then. I don't know. I kind of like the... All right, the community agrees, 1.94. Three, two, one. Three stars, you give it two? I just feel like this is kind of shot at the wrong time of day. This is one of those examples where to get the highlights you to be exposed... You know what the genre is, right? Yeah, but it's nighttime, but let me let me expand. This is one of those shots where to get the lights that are really bright properly exposed, it requires you to shoot the scene underexposed. And then when you try to pull out the details, I just feel like you're left kind of with this muddy look. Like everything's everything's lit with incandescent lights or LED lights. Like I want to see some of the blue ambient light just to pull up the highlights a little bit. You can still make this look like a nighttime shot. But it's kind of the same idea that like when Hollywood goes and shoots nighttime scenes, they're never shooting at nighttime like this. They're usually lighting up the whole city block or they're shooting in a, in a bluer hour. I just feel like there's a lot of detail that's missing here. And because so much of the light is harsh light that is super incandescent, I just feel like it kind of it kind of gives you like a really ugly sort of mood and lighting scenario. Um, I disagree. That's, that's one critique. I mean, you could start going down a lot of other I ways. will go down another road. You are wrong. And I really like the look of this. And I like I like how dark and dim. I, you know, I've seen so many pictures, you know, of, uh, no, I can't even think of what's, what's the city. 
Venice. Um, I've, I've seen so many daytime pictures of this city. Like, I don't even want to see Where it Where do you think this is? Venice, Italy, right? I've never, I've never been to Venice, but... You've seen pictures. I assume it is, or it's another, you know, country that's like that. Or city that's like that. But my point is, is like, I feel like this is a very painterly photograph. It feels like a painting to me. And it's just refreshing rather than seeing another daytime snapshot of a you know gondola with the dude in the black and white outfit you know i'm just over it so i really like this and um i i only give it a three simply because it's it's not like blowing me away by any means but if you had a portfolio full of shots like this i think you could do really well selling prints and like coming up with a with a style for yourself Community gives it 2.89. All right. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. Um, you know, it's like fun stuff you do in college, but uh, yeah, not really maybe professional I'm like portfolio. super biased towards this, but like I kind of don't like the burning steel wool thing. It's like... It's been done a couple times. It's just such a gimmick. It's been done, and it's like... What are you selling, or what emotion are you giving? Like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I'm not a big fan. The community likes it more than us at 2.89. Maybe the community should do some more steel burning. <laughs> there you go. Five star <laughs> image. I love this picture. I love this picture. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, give me shit. This picture is so awesome to me. I feel like this should be in a museum or something. I like it. I think it's it should be in your portfolio. I could see like some famous photographer and it's like on their Instagram or it's buried deep in their portfolio. I just, you know, it, it's more abstract and in the artsy way. Yeah. Like this wouldn't fly for like a celebrity portrait or something. Like this wouldn't even be enough to go in a series of celebrity portraits. But I love the lighting. I love the mood. I just feel like it's, it, it doesn't really speak to me a whole lot. But I do, I like the light on the bed. I kind of, I'm trying to decide if I like this strip of sheetrock on the wall or whatever, it kind of pulls me out a little. Like, I wonder if I would like it more. I don't know if there's a crop that works, but um, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like anything's <clears throat> particularly done wrong in this image, but... I'm, I'm, I'm between a four and a five. Like, maybe, I mean, how maybe many five's, five's crazy. I don't give fives that often. Maybe once or twice ever in a critique. Um, this shot, though, is just so The unique. color is so interesting. It's like, this is like a happy mistake, I feel like. You know, I, I, I find it very difficult to believe that somebody could consistently come up with pictures like this. Um, because there's so much going on that's kind of like, well, was this a snapshot? And like... You know, there's just things about it, like like you said, the light that's hitting the edge of the mattress down here. You would there. never plan for that to happen. I don't imagine that the photographer put a light out there with a different color balance yeah. and made those beams of light. And then the, the white sheetrock, like you said, on the right side, like, to me, it's pulling this whole image together. Well, now that I look at it even more, like, and I guess this is the, the, the sign of a good image, is like, I didn't even really notice what's going on. Like, it seemed like she's on a bed where everything's been pulled apart, which makes you start to think, has she been left? Like there's there's more of a story here than I think any of the other photos we've seen. Like sure. why is the bed pulled apart? You want to kind of go down this like, I think as photographers we do this, it's like, oh, another sexy shot. But like this really but isn't. But it's not. It's that's, not really a sexy that's shot. That's why it stands out to me. Like it's kind of sexy. It's like a naked girl in a bed, but you know, it's showing barely any skin. It's showing barely anything at all. But it's just enough that it, I don't know, it just sucks me in. I saw this picture on the critique and I commented on it. And I remember, like, it's not rated that highly. And I'm like, 
what is going on? This picture is my favorite in the whole yeah. critique. I told David, I was like, make sure this makes it into the critique because like this picture is blowing my yeah, mind. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Like it doesn't capture me as much from a photographic standpoint. I mean, it, it does. I gave it a three. But in the storytelling, I feel like this might be the strongest image in this whole critique from a story standpoint. Like it makes you stop and think what's going on. And I think very few of our images, they're, they're kind of blatant. Here's a girl I mean, in front of a waterfall. Well, there doesn't Here's have a to guy be. exploring. Yeah, but there you doesn't know? have to be anything going on. Like, maybe the photographer literally just snapped a picture of his girlfriend in bed. I know, you know? but I think the human mind, we, we search for answers and stories, and, like, we want to know something more out of this. And sometimes when images are just so blatant, I mean, I, I'm super guilty of this, too. Like, kind of, you do this a lot in advertising photos. It's just so obvious, like, oh, snowboarder jumping off a cliff. I got it. But when you go down this route... It makes you stop and think a little bit more. And I, and I like that element of this photograph. To give it a five, I don't know. You want to come up to a four? I, I could be persuaded that this is a four after we've debated and talked about it this long. All right. What does the community think this is? Community gives it, so why is it not coming up? The community gives it 2.89. So even less than three. Yeah, I think they're wrong there, but um, <laughs> I can see why. Yeah, small, it, it's kind of hard to read what this is. It is. It, well, I told David, I was like, there's a picture of a girl laying on her stomach in bed. Make sure you put it in the critique. And he was like, I do not see that photo. And I had to go in there and be like, that one, because it's very difficult to It's almost to like tell. a Rembrandt painting or something. I know when it you is. You go into a museum and you see these things big, like the tapestries. And sometimes those even look a little too crazy but you go up to it and you can see all the detail in it there's a lot of shadows and highlights and tones which is pretty cool this is such an interesting image because i think it's really controversial i bet if we could go into the back end and look at every individual rating i bet there's a lot of people that gave this one star and then there's people like me i think i rated it five stars on the website and then there's probably a lot of fours and twos as well this is like the full gamut yeah and I don't know that we see that many photos like that that are so polarizing. Yeah. And you were kind of right in the middle. You said it was three at the beginning, but... Uh, I could be persuaded to go higher now that I've, I look at it longer. Yeah. But uh, well, Josh Hammond, you're probably having the time of your life. <laughs> yeah, well done. I wish we could have more images that were this different and unique in the critique because it's, it's a lot more fun to look at stuff like this than, you know, like you said, snowboarder jumping off cliff. Hmm. Ready? Three, two, one. Really, four. I'm between a three and a four. Like, I kept looking at this image and thinking, do I want the stars there? I, I guess that's what would be there because it's the sky. But I was thinking, if you cut that out and made it pure white or, like, something else, like, mm -hmm. it, it's almost... It almost is too fake because you know the light pollution from all these windows would never allow you to get that view. Well, it's not just that, but you'd never have this flat of lighting on the building either. You don't think? It, no. You don't think, like, all of the lights could be filling in? It's kind of like that shot Elia did in Hong Kong with us. Like, that one place you would never think could look that cool? I, th I, think, I think it could during the day. But I don't, I don't, I, I think this... Oh, you're saying the sky is bright. But there's yeah. no, there's no fall off. Wouldn't, like, the top of the buildings be brighter <laughs> yeah. than the bottom? Yeah, I, I don't know how this was taken. But when I look at this, I don't even really consider this, like, photography. I kind of consider this to be, like, an illustration or graphic design or something. Kind of like your dome house. <laughs> it's like an illustration a, of... A little that. bit, a little bit. But I don't, I don't feel like this photographer is trying to make it look real maybe they are and if they are you failed at that in my opinion but it's cool in its own way yeah um i, ga I gave it three stars and if you know if, if there was a series of images that this photographer was doing that was like this that's like i'm not trying to make it look real but i want this very graphic foreground with the stars in the background or a t completely unrealistic sky in the back okay like it's cool. I, I think I think it's definitely working, but it's it's not fooling me in any way that like this could potentially be a real photograph. I keep going back to my initial thought is I would like to see something else in there. Okay. Like imagine if you had a drone shot pointing down to where you're, it's very disorienting. Like you're almost in a spaceship looking out the back. 
you could have earth in there or you could have like just plants or something like i don't know like i don't know not i don't know where you're going with this now or pure white just pure white with like flare coming through or something okay i just i don't know if i want to see the stars in this situation because yeah. my mind registers it as being like so impossible for that to look like this right the community gives it three stars so they agree with me and you are wrong are you where, ready? Where do you think this is taken? Uh, Lesbian? North Charleston, probably. Ready? Three, two, one. How, how are you going to give that three stars? How? I could see this being bought and used, and like it, it needs a little bit of work to be like a four. I think it's just a little too wide. But I mean, I think there's something there that like could be used as a title screen or used in editorial mm. work or posted in a. A CNN article about London. And I do agree. I agree with all of that. I don't that. think like it's it's a two to where you're like, this shouldn't be on your portfolio. Really? I really don't like. I don't like the bottom. I think there's too many bricks. And of course, this could be done better. Well, but like I think here's, that here's my question. You go to a photographer's website. This is the first photo on their website. What do you infer? I'm hoping the next image is the exact same image with another location. If this is a one-off, I'm gonna be like, but, that was his friends traveling but and they just But nothing did. about this looks professional to me. Like, every, all the buildings, all the lights are overexposed, the sky is totally black. It's, it's not like a professional looking shot. It's just like, hey, put the camera on timer mode and let's write lunch. It's like, this is the shot you take at every wedding and the couple writes out love with the sparklers. Like, you don't you don't put that on a commercial photography website. I think it's a three. Like I like I could watch. We just had the finals. We're in the World Cup. I could see t I see time lapses at sports games all the time, and I'm like that time lapse kind of looks kind of crappy. But it's still got a commercial use. Like whether or not you should put it on your website or not, that's kind of the debate of what our rating is. But like to me, yeah, they should write needs work. So I have now gone back to the sports car in front of the incredible building, which you gave two stars. Yeah. You have now rated a picture that somebody literally scribbled letters out I like on the worst snapshot of London I've ever seen. They scribbled London, what are you and talking you about are saying snapshot? that this is a better photograph than the car. I'm gonna stand by my convictions and say, <laughs> I, like, I like this photograph better. What are you talking about? I like that photograph How better. How you like this photograph better? Please, I know you guys <laughs> love talking shit to me in the comments, but please, it's time for you to join I forces and attack Patrick. One comment is... with the most comments under it about this decision here. Yes, please. I mean, the car shot is a high two. This is a low one. Like, again, a, they're a not- A low three. A, a low three. So it's a high two versus a low three, in my opinion. Uh -huh. They're a lot closer than like you would make the community this believe. This is close. The London shot is close to a one. It's very close to a snapshot. No. I mean, take take London out. Now what do you rate it? A two. Really? Yeah. You you really with this composition, London's not in there, and it's just this shitty picture of of it's overexposed a, buildings. You'd have to say it's a two. It's it's not a snapshot. Are you it's, gonna, it is a snapshot. Dude, most people, most you're, a snapshot is somebody who just pulled out their phone and took a picture. Like your mom could do it. Yeah. I feel like the vertical lines are all straight. Oh, they oh. position themselves like they put a two. Your definition, our definition of a two is thought went into the photograph. Right. And no they, thought would have gone into this if they the London isn't there. They position themselves perfectly into the vantage point. They've got all the vertical straight. They've set it to where like there's less interest in the sky, so it's leave the bricks. By all means, by the very definition of what a two is, they have put thought into this photograph. You're saying without London, this is a one. Yes. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, this is not a one star image. Like we saw one star images where in this critique where things are blurry and not in focus and they're black and white because the color didn't look good at all. Like that, that even by definition is probably a two. Like a snapshot has to be really, really bad. This is a two without London. With London I don't think snapshots do have to be really, really bad to be a snapshot. Like, I think I think literally anyone with any camera would have taken this picture. If they were standing here, it's it's not, I don't think it's a proper exposure. The, all the buildings are literally blown out. 
I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not like a normal camera wouldn't just like you have like long exposure stuff going on and like blurs in the street. Like, makes me think this was shot on a tripod. Yeah, You're telling me the second, it, of a, it was. second a tripod is introduced, it shouldn't be a snapshot. I disagree. There's too many things going <laughs> on in this picture that make it not a snapshot. That it's a, a photographer's mind who set out to take a picture that needs work. That's what a two is by definition. How can you, you're just being stubborn at this point. No, no, with the London, I rated it a two. Without the London. It's a one. Even though it's still shot on a tripod, they drag the shutter, they place themselves in the middle of the vantage point, they got all their vertical lines straight, all those things together. Yeah, still a, a snapshot, anybody course. like your brother could have taken that picture. Of course. Like not, yes. could, not could have, would have. I hope he would not have because there's no shot there. Dude, this is, I feel like I'm sitting next to Pierre Hurley now. The community gives it 2.57 stars, so they're right in between what you and I gave it. The final image. Here we go. Thank goodness. I can't, I can't put up with any more of this. <laughs> I can't put up with any more of this. You're the one who's out of your mind. You, when you read the YouTube comments, you're going to realize that you're out of your mind. People love you. So maybe they're going to take my side on this. Three, two, one, two. How are you going to give that three stars? <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm, I really am not even looking at this picture. I just threw down. <laughs> I just threw a three down. Just You're, you're right. This is a two. Okay. Like, this is absolutely two. This is like has potential to be, you're in like in a cool place at a really interesting time. But like what's going on with the green grass and there's no foreground interest at all. Um, it needs work. It's not, yeah. I mean, like, I don't see this on, like, the World Cup, but I, I see that as being part of, you know, the London campaign where it's... <laughs> I'm going to leave that image alone. <laughs> All right. The community gives this one 2.93 stars. So they rated this higher than the London shot. What have you got to say about that? I think they're crazy. Like... I think they got wrapped up in the, like, there's a volcano going off in the background. I have to rate this high. To me, the London one's just, it's got more marketability. If you put, yeah, I agree. If you put both these images on a stock website, I agree. which one would sell more? I agree. I could see myself using the London shot, like, as a b quick B-roll clip in some video or something. So there, it's a good photo. Mm. A solid photo. If you could use it, it's a <laughs> If you, Lee Morris, could use this for something, it's a solid But photo. there's a lot of stuff that I could use as like quick B-roll and stuff that I wouldn't put on a portfolio. It's like, here you go. This is the best of my best work, you know? Anyway, we're, we're just done. Gonna we're done to here. Disagree here. People on F-Stoppers and Facebook. And YouTube. Yeah, people on F-Stoppers and YouTube, please respond. Let us know who was right or wrong. And I mean, and specifically talk about the London photo and the car photo. Patrick and I are really far off on that one. I think everything else we put it. We went that far, like we were one off on the London photo, right? Yeah. Oh, you the car one. The we car were, one we were two off. I think yeah. there was another one that we were two off on, but um, oh, it was the uh, the bed one. Like, uh, I think. But I, you came up. You you, you, you agreed. You were wrong. Yeah. I mean. I'm not. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, head over to fstoppers.com slash store to check out all of our tutorials, and you can win one of those tutorials for free. And the next critique, just make sure that you upload your favorite photo, your best photo, with your watermark or logo on the file itself so that we can see it and crop into it. And uh, we'll be doing the next critique with Mike Kelly next week. We'll see you then.